Get you out live right now to Prospect Avenue here in downtown Buffalo, an area that really took the brunt of the damage today. 7 News Febin Cassahoon is there live. And how's it looking out there now, Febin? Michael, good evening. Now, me and photojournalist Mel Heidi are standing on Carolina and Prospect Street, where this is actually one of the hardest hit areas in the city of Buffalo tonight. Earlier this evening, we saw uprooted trees, debris everywhere. But right now, you can tell that crews have actually done a pretty good job of clearing the streets. But I do want to show you one thing right now. This is a perfect, the perfect example of just how strong that storm was this afternoon. You can see this window full of cracks smashing at the top and even the roof almost concave. Just just, just a pretty intense sight to see here. I do want to bring in my colleague Johnson person who has been talking to neighbors all afternoon and into the evening about the storm damage. Johnson, what have you learned? Well, by Ben, people are still shaken up after a tornado hit their neighborhood here in the city of Buffalo. Now, some of those neighbors were telling me that they just couldn't believe something like this could happen in their backyard. So tonight I'm giving you a voice of, of four neighbors from the hardest hit hit areas. They're taking me through the damage around their homes. Many cleaning up in the dark without power. Plus, they say they are already preparing for future storms. Now we have all the snow and now we get tornadoes. I mean, what's next? It's crazy. Neighbors are shocked to see the aftermath of a tornado that ripped through the neighborhood along Carolina Street and Prospect Avenue in the city of Buffalo. Tree limbs toppled to the ground with some covering homes in the process. Some people even faced the tornado themselves, like this mother, Hawa Hamadi. It was crazy. It was so crazy. And the fact that I was out here and like it really like lift up my whole car and I was like, yeah. We see drywall in the air. So I'm like, what is that? So it just comes spinning. I'm like, lift up the car, put it back down. And I'm like, was that what it was? So we like, should we get out the car? Should we stay in the car? We stayed in like 10 seconds later, it just stopped. Hawa tells me she lives in these apartments on the corner of Niagara and Carolina streets where there's no power. A few blocks down from Hawa, Craig Franklin and his son came to see his family because they too don't have power. I was talking to my mom about the weather is definitely changing around us, so just to be more prepared. They do not have power, they are without power, so we're just making sure they have everything they need. They might be uh, coming to stay with me tonight, make sure, because it's a little warm, so no AC, nobody's getting any sleep. You just don't know what to expect, you know? At this point, anything could happen. What's next? Well, sometimes I see those torna tornado warnings from the city, and you know, I kind of just write them off because who's ever seen a tornado in Buffalo? But now I'm going to be taking them seriously. It's pretty, it's pretty scary. Also up on Prospect, saw a lot of trees down. Definitely the first time I've heard of it actually in the city. I've heard of it on the outskirts before. Every uh, couple of decades, it seems like there's one that does some damage, but I've never seen anything like this in the city. I was really crying. I'm in my car. I'm crying like, God, don't let me die without my kids. So scary. It was so scary, but Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah, like he's the greatest. I got through it. I'm this over. Now the national grid did restore power to most residents here, but 65 of those residents are still without power tonight. Febin.